Hi, it's Tansel here. Today I want to go through some online mind mapping. And uh, when I say online, it's using a software called Xmind. And uh, it, it's, you can download it from online. It's not an online per se, like MindMeister type of software. But what you can do with this is pretty cool. So I just want to show you how mind mapping generally works and what you can do with this program. Now I'm not uh, sponsored by Xmind or anything like that. So I'm just doing this off my own back because uh, I like the product and uh, look, it may not be for you, but mind mapping is one of those things where it's pretty awesome done online. So let's get started. When you open up Xmind, you can download it from xmind.net. Uh, this one's version eight. So I can go to about Xmind here and it tells me which one it is. So I've got Xmind 8, uh, update 9, um, which is the recent one that I have. When you open it up, it starts off with a blank mind map, or you can just go to file new, and it will give you a few templates. So if you wanna do uh, not just a mind map, but sort of matrix rows and columns, you can do that. You can do fishbone style mind maps, uh, but I generally just go to the stock standard one, um, and I just choose the default theme because you know, I'm not too worried about the design at this stage um, because the most important thing when creating the mind map is just getting content or your ideas uh, on here because once you do that, then you can start to really play around. We have our central topic. So if you don't know how a mind map works, it works by having a central topic and then you have branches coming out from each of those uh, areas of the central topic. So let's work on an example. My expertise is in the area of memory, so I'll put the topic of memory in here. Under memory, I could have a whole bunch of other categories, almost like chapter headings. As soon as I press tab on my computer, I've got a Windows PC, so it works the same on a Mac as well. So as soon as I press tab, I get a new branch and I can create a new topic here now. So memory, I could say maybe there's memory techniques. Right, press enter, bang, I've written techniques there. If I press enter again, it's going to give me another main topic area. Here I can type in principles, right, bang, and then enter again. I might type in, you know, maybe famous people, you know, that are in relation to memory. And then press enter again, it's going to create it. As I keep pressing enter, it creates categories as I move along, main branches. So I can keep doing that. Now the cool thing is, is that I can go on the techniques and I can put more branches in there by pressing tab. Now tab moves forward this way, enter gives you another sort of category, another branch down this way. So I press tab, bang, I've got a subtopic. I can keep pressing enter now to go down, subtopic two, three, four, and so on. If I wanted more topics from here, let's say this was method of loci technique. Right, and I wanted to put more categories underneath, I press tab and I can now start to put some more things underneath the method of loci, like the number of locations might be an area, right? The how to memorize might be an area and I can just keep going, right? I can personalize this to how I want to organize the information or what I can do is I can grab any book out there and I can enter the chapter headings and then enter the subheadings, sub subheadings, uh, and then create a fully blown outline of whatever I'm about to read. And this is how I wrote both my books. I created a mind map first. I thought, okay, what am I going to include in my chapters? What's gonna be in the sub chapters? And all I had to do was just write underneath each of those. So it essentially helped me to get rid of writer's block. And I ended up writing both my books in 10 days. That's over 200 pages. So mind mapping is very, very powerful. Um, I've got other videos on mind mapping as well, but just for now, I just wanted to keep it really brief. Uh, if you like, you can download not just this program, but any other mind mapping program and have a play around, you know, create a topic in there. You know, it could be about fitness. And then in there you go, okay, what are some of the, and maybe the exercises uh, that I can do fitness. I can do maybe uh, jogging, let's say, I can do weights and so on. Then I can go in here and say, well, what type of weights can I do? Bang, bang, bang. So I can keep going. And the beauty of doing a mind map is you can see everything all in one go, which is awesome. So have a play around. Uh, I'll do more videos on this as well, but at the moment I just wanna keep it brief so you can understand how this works and how you can get started. 
uh, getting started is the key. Just get in there, download it, play around, uh, and make the most of it. Because once you start getting into mind mapping, it really helps you organize uh, information. So if you're bombarded with information, or if you're having to deal with a lot of information, you're doing research, you're doing learning, mind mapping helps a lot with that and i'll do a lot more videos on it so thank you very much for today uh, if you enjoyed the video please like share subscribe do all that sort of stuff and i'll see you in the next video cheers